In this video, you will learn how to make sick edits with your very own 360 camera. I have compiled 7 easy tips that will greatly enhance your videos and make them stand out from everybody else's. So the first step is to find the right music. To get my music, I go to a website called Pixabay. It offers high quality music tracks and is 100% free to use. For montages, there are two things that I look for in a song, a fast pace and frequent beat drops. Let me explain. A faster paced song will allow you to make quicker cuts and beat drops will let you match your editing to the music, but more on that later. Both of these things will greatly enhance your edits and keep your viewers engaged. The next tip is to edit your music. To start, think about how long you want your montage to be. Most songs are usually around 3 minutes, but I like to make my videos around 1 minute long. This means that some trimming will need to happen. Try to identify the different sections of the song. There is usually an intro, chorus, and a few verses. See if there is any section that is either repetitive or that you just don't like, and cut it out. By splicing together different sections of the song, you can customize the track to better fit your video. Try cutting out a section, rearranging a few sections, or even change the pitch. The next tip is to cut on the beat. Don't just place clips randomly on the timeline. Try to time the video cuts to the beat of the song. My 1x2 showreel video is a good example of this. As you can tell, each beat drop switched to a new clip. The next tip is to do fast cuts between your clips. When making edits, there is nothing worse than an overly long clip. I usually try to keep each clip under 7 seconds. This will ensure that your audience is paying full attention to your video. Now I know I just said to use fast cuts, but you should also vary your clip length. Having one or two longer clips in your edits is okay. By having a variety in clip lengths, it keeps the viewer on the edge of their seat. Another tip is to have a variety in shot selection. Take these two shots for example. They both have similar reframe movements and are relatively static, showcasing the scenery. Instead of putting these two clips next to each other on the timeline, try putting two completely different clips together, like this one of me biking. This will make your videos more engaging and avoid repetition. The next idea is to use transitions. 360 cameras give you so much creative freedom and allow you to make impressive transitions. Some of my personal favorites include the rotate transition, the whip transition, and zoom in and zoom out transition. I am planning on making a full tutorial in the future on how to make these, so stay tuned. I hope you learned something in this video and give some of these ideas a try.